Okay, hi. Today I'm going to be covering Le Hopital's rule, or however you pronounce it. The name's not important. What is important is what it can be applied to. This rule is a way to find the limits of certain expressions that can be described as indeterminate forms. Now, when I say indeterminate, I mean finding limits that, when initially solved, you know, turn out to be zero over zero or infinity over infinity, like, as in it's just not solvable. There's no one definite answer now. This rule finds that. Now, of course, you can't just say that the limit is undefined. So a way to find the limit is to use this simple rule as followed. Now, what the formula is saying is that these two functions have to exist. You know, they have to be real functions. <laughs> Both the top and bottom part are differential, and the primes cannot equal zero. So, if all those conditions are right, then the limit can be found by finding the derivative of both the numerator and the denominator. By doing so, we're trying to see if we can get a determinate expression out of this. If the primes are still not determinate, the rule states to prime it a second time and solve. Our first example is to find the limit of sine x over x as x approaches zero, shown here. First, you should notice that plugging in zero would give you a zero on both the top and bottom areas, making it an indeterminate value. Now, using the rule, we'll take the derivative of both the top and the bottom, and there you have it. The limit equals one. Pretty simple, right? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Okay, now find the limit of two x minus sine of x over x as x approaches zero. Again, if you plug in zero, you'll get an indeterminate form. So by using this rule, take the derivative of the top and the bottom, and you'll find that the limit equals one. All right, here we need to find the limit of radical four plus x minus two over two x as x approaches zero. Again, plugging in zero will be of no help. So take the derivative and there is your limit. Mm -hmm. Okay, our next example is finding the limit as x approaches zero of radical four plus x minus two minus x over four all over two x squared. Now taking the derivative, the first one, we can see that the expression is still not determinate, so we, we can't really find it. So applying the rule, we do it a second time. And bingo, there's your answer. Now let's try the limit of 5x minus 8 over 3x plus 1 as x approaches infinity. Now this is an infinity problem, okay? So initially when you plug it in, the limit appears to be infinity over infinity, which is indeterminate. We can't find a definite answer out of this. So let's take the derivative of the top and bottom. And there you have it. The limit for this problem is simply 5 over 3. Don't you wish you had learned this when you first did limits? Yeah, I, I think this would help me a lot. And there you have it.